Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Front Mission. When we last left off, we were about to go and do the last secret mission. So, let's go. And this is actually kind of a cool mission. Now, if we get it done now... Well, apparently there's quite a decent um, amount of time we have to do this one. I think it's available for like the next four missions or something, but we better jump on it now, I reckon. What a beautiful place. How did you know the way to the valley, Captain? I found this place during my last recon mission. Look at these flowers. The island has finally begun to heal the scars left by the last war. I fell in love with this island the first time I set foot here. So much life and hope. You wouldn't think they'd fought a war here 20 years ago. I wanted to come here with you, show you why I love this island so much. Let's stay here as long as we can. Karen. Royd, I... <gasps> yeah. Heads up, contacts. <gasps> yeah, this one can be a little bit on the rough side. But we should have a handle on it. Get those pumps moving and get some fuel into this thing. We can't let the Aussies get their filthy hands on it. Well, we shall see about that. Those must be the UCS stragglers retreating from Freedom City. This angers Royd for fouling the sacred of place. Right, let's grab everybody. Uh, sure, let's just go with that. That's fine. All right, let's go crack some skulls. Okay, so this one is a bit of a git because we need to get our butts down here as quick as we can. Now, that Wanza that's down here, or that mobile weapon, I should say, this uh, Buran, that thing, uh, it's not too bad when you get up close to it, but it's got some nasty missiles. Now we want to leave a couple of Wanzas back here. Just because we... Are, oh shit, yeah. We got Frederick back, but I didn't upgrade his Wanza. Alright, I'll handle that off camera. But for now, let's get everybody advancing down this <laughs> the single stairway, which is a bit lethal. But, you know, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Eh, there we go. Peewee, you can just chill there, brother. Now, the first time I actually did this one, I got pretty badly destroyed. But, we should be okay this time. Let's just keep pushing. In fact, let's go for this attacker, if we can. We've got speed and jewel. Nice. That's what we're talking about. Strip him clean. Okay. Fact, we can actually push right up here. Now, I can't remember with the Burren. I think it's one of those mechs that's better if we push right up to it. And just take it out. Natalie. Nat, uh, seems a bit of a waste to leave Natalie there. Natalie and Keith. Natalie and Keith sh should be able to handle it, but Natalie's stuck there for the time being. Anyway, Fred, you can move up there and take him out. Shouldn't matter too much if we take too many hits or if somebody goes down. Let's actually strike the burn. See if we can do some damage to it. As you can see, it's pretty tough. Here we go. 
Now, it might have, it might look like it's got really thick armor, and it kind of does, but if we get close to it, we can strip its health away pretty quickly. So that is our plan. Switch to beautiful. These Wanzas here obviously aren't going to pose us too much threat. Okay, let's just get everybody out into the main fight. Uh, there's no point. Just get down there. Peewee, hold. This could hurt. Yeah. This could really hurt. Okay. That was a lucky shot. Uh, unfortunately, May, you just... <laughs> you just got completely annihilated. But that's okay. Right, defend yourself. Keith. Ooh. That's not bad. Keith has been bloodied, but we can send him back to Pee Wee for some repairs. Not a problem. Well, he's useless. Yeah, the missile launchers those burns have are painful. Absolutely, excruciatingly painful. So I think the best thing for us to do is circle round and try and destroy these guys. Just go for a duel. Misslers are savage. Alright, that, that works. That works. You just push up and go in. Now, he's got a flamethrower. Which, it hurts, but it's not too bad, because its accuracy is kind of stinky. Um, yeah, just go for a body shot. Nice, beautiful work. Not bad, Keith, not bad. That will do nicely. Now, JJ... Yes, you can just push up, brother. Yep, sling some missiles at this guy. Um, he's useless. Go for a kill shot. Nice. Not too shabby at all. Now, Fred. Fred, I want you to push as well. We just need to take this guy out. Now, unfortunately... Actually, the flamethrower isn't doing as much as I thought it did. Happy with that. Those two should be able to handle the burn then. Which is good. Oof. That rifle stings. But that's okay. We can handle that. We can handle just about anything they throw at us. And you know what? Finish them off. Beautiful. Not bad, Older. Not bad. We shall purify the sanctuary of this place. I should have gone for the missile, really. Ooh, Gregorio. Gregorio might go down, actually. That guy's packing some heavy weaponry. But Molly. Molly might be able to stand up to him just a little bit. Natalie, I'm going to need you in the fight. I see he's backing off. You know... Just guard. Don't know if that's going to be enough. To, no, it's not enough to save you. Yeah, this mission is a little bit tougher than I thought. Maybe we should have brought some stronger dudes with us. But that's fine. We're going to take some losses, but I think we'll, we'll get through it. Um, right, let's push right up here and you know what? Go for that. See if you can get a good couple of shots in there. Not bad. Not bad. Should be able to waste it next turn. Actually, you might have to go back. No, that should be fine. Let's get out of the water. Get a little bit of cover and waste this guy. Not bad. 
Yeah, we fought that configuration before. This one here. The Type 67C. It's actually quite a nasty platform. Um, see if you can take out an arm. Yep, that'll work. It's not perfect, but if it helps, it helps. Um, right. So we've got our arm back. Perfect. So let's... Oh, shit. Skip too far. I'm getting... That is one thing with this game. Because there's so much lag, you can quickly tap the button too many times. Really easily. I didn't actually realise you could repair um, parts with full health. That's not great. But it is what it is. It's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Pull in rainbow. Finish him off. If you can. Take the arm out at least. Really? Ooh, see what I mean? That configuration really hurts. Let's move you up. Crack out a repair. And Molly. See, Molly... I don't think she's going to be that much use, to be honest. No. She's just going to go down in flames. Which is bad. <laughs> ah, that's okay. He's actually using his turn to run away. Ah, oh, shit. There's another one. Oh, no. He's got a donkey. Molly needs to disengage. But she's not going to get the chance. Ooh. I really don't need this right now. Well, that's unfortunate, Molly. Because you are out. Okay. Okay. Um, well. Best foot forward, I guess. He needs to go. The difference between, like, a A grader and a B lister is pretty big. Now, who's this? Ryuji. Ryuji is a top top soldier so uh, let's see if we can sling some missiles at these guys that donkey's got to go nice okay that's gonna make a difference whether it's gonna make a big difference is another story actually Natalie should be able to come up here and take him out just all right one weapon Oof. Disabling one weapon, that's better than nothing. Keith, can you sling some... you can. Sling some missiles at this guy. Try and take his other arm out. Nice. Perfect. Uh, go for it. Go for a kill shot. Alright, well, we'll take that. Not great, but we'll take it. Now, Fred... Fred is in a precarious position because Fred isn't that strong. Okay, he actually did a better job than I thought he was going to. Paul. Paul is really beat up. But he can sling some rockets. In theory, anyway. <clears throat> I mean, he can sling rockets. Whether they're going to hit is a different story. Peewee, hold fast. Those two guys can just wait there. Luckily, the damaged guys... Oh, nice. Damaged guys are going to go off and repair. Which are going to buy us a little bit of breathing space. Okay. Now we can head these guys off. Strip them down. That'll work. Uh, Ryuji, you can actually hold here. And I'm being distracted because my cat is snoring like hell. Beautiful. Not bad, Ryuji. Now, Natalie, I want you to move up. Can you again? Yes, you can. Kind of would have preferred you to get some healing in, but... We need to take the claws off this thing first. Hit him with the crane. 
Takes the other weapon out. Excellent. You don't have to worry about the snake if it's got no teeth now. Uh, Hunter, I guess, can just come up here and try and mop some of these guys up. Take his arm out. Excellent. Absolutely beautiful. Fred, let's get yourself some XP, brother. Perfect. Now, Paul, Paul, you're in bad shape. So, you're going to chow down. Oof. I guess that's what you're going to do. Alder, I want you to come over here and deal with... Uh, maybe you'll be good at handling these guys up here. These supply trucks, they're not going anywhere. Now, whilst they're distracted, we can start moving into missile range. Unfortunately, that's going to put him in missile range to us. Which is not fantastic. Oh, perfect. There we go. Oh. Nice. Yeah, his flamethrower, actually is quite a bit weaker than I remember it being. Take him out. Drop him. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, it's kind of getting a little bit contested up here, but that's cool. We can sling some rockets. Oof. Now, we actually will get one of these monstrosities. For completing this mission I believe which is pretty good and you better believe we're gonna have someone in there Fred that wasn't a great missile shot but you are working against old gear so let's get you right up here peewee hold I actually thought there were some more reinforcements in this one but I guess not who could use some XP? Jerry. Well, JJ, Fred. Fred could probably use a bit of XP. Nice. Oh, wow. You get like 16. It's interesting. You don't get a lot of XP for destroying mobile weapons, which I don't know, man. I think you probably should get a bit more than 16. Because... Some of them are quite nasty. Okay. Everybody back down the mountain. And we can sling some missiles at these guys. Perfect. One down. Just one left. It's a shame, really, these guys don't try and charge you. But that's okay. We can make our way over to them. Now, we lost two guys. Could have been worse. Could have been better. But I'll take it. Nice, quick, easy mission. Karen, I promise you, I'll do whatever I can to find you. Yeah. Well... We're going to find her, don't worry, but <laughs> you're not going to like it. So not bad, really. Oh, we lost three. Oof. Still, we've got plenty of cash in the tank. So let's go back to here enter the town and before we finish up here what we're going to do let's set somebody up and let's we want to put somebody decent but 
not necessarily too decent. May. She, I guess. Oh, that was what you get, the LGM. Oh. This thing is a monster. Yeah, she's going in that. Now, let's check out. Let's chuck her a repair kit. And I think that's about it. Who else needed repair kits? Now, witness can be upgraded. I think we was keeping the pious, weren't we? Yep, keep that. Ah, I think he was already upgraded with everything apart from the legs. Possibly. Items, he's good. Weapons. Pretty sure. Oh, we can give him hex fires. But, we won't. There's no real point. Give him some cranes. Slays. Oof. Only has... Only fires two missiles. It does have three shots. Yeah, let's give him that. And we could give him the donkey, which is 3 times 25. That's actually not as good. Give him a crane as well. There we go. Job done. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that one here. Thank you very much for watching. When we return, we're going to continue with the main story. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.